My name is Yogi Fahiru Abdur from Botecas Kemenkes Bandung, and this study explores C-reactive proteins or CRP as a predictive biomarker of macrovascular complication in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. We know that type 2 diabetes is rising dramatically in Indonesia, and over 15% of patients suffer from complications like coronary heart disease or stroke. The problem is this complication are often detected too late after damage has already occurred. CRP is a protein produced by the liver in response of systemic inflammation, and elevated levels of CRP may indicate early vascular injury in diabetic patients. So, my research is aimed to answer. Is there a correlation between fasting blood glucose and CRP levels in diabetic patients? And can CRP be used to treat macrovascular disease? To test this, I conducted an observational analytic study on 30 patients with type 2 diabetes patients. Inclusion criteria were patients with fasting blood glucose above 200 mg per deciliter and diagnosis duration over 5 years. We collected blood samples to measure. The first is fasting glucose using the GOD PAP and genetic method, and the CRP levels using the Ichromes fluorescence immunoassay or FEA. The data was analyzed using Spearman rank correlations to determine the relationship between the glucose and CRP levels. Our results show that all 30 patients had elevated CRP levels from 6.3 mg per liter up to 29.78 mg per liter. More importantly, we found a strong positive correlation between fasting blood glucose and CRP. This means the higher the blood sugar and the higher the CRP indicating increased vascular inflammation and complication risk. In a sense, CRP may serve an early warning signal, such as a red flag, allowing doctors to detect risks before a patient experiences a life threatening event. In conclusion, CRP is not just a passive marker, it may be a powerful predictive tool for early interventions. This aligns with the Ministry of Health priorities threaten preventive care and reduce the burden of non-communicable disease. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can detect inflammations, we can prevent devastations. Thank you.